In countless episodes of the television series Star Trek, the starship Enterprise covered great distances in space with the warp drive. When the captain gave the command for a faster than light speed flight, the starship glowed brightly for a short time and disappeared in a space time structure. The Enterprise emerged at the exact coordinates that the ship's technicians had previously entered into the computer. The heroes of the series obtained the necessary energy from crystals. In this way, Kirk, Picard, and company could practically dash through the entire cosmos with the Enterprise and even explore the edges of the universe. Exciting in the movies, but not possible in reality. At least that's how science commented on the warp idea of Enterprise inventor Gene Roddenberry for decades. But slowly, science has come to rethink this assessment. Researchers now find for the first time evidence for the real existence of a warp bubble, something that could make the fantastic warp drive reality. Before we take a closer look at how this might work in the following video, we would like to invite you to support our work by subscribing to our channel, activating the notification bell, and giving us a like at the end of the video if you enjoyed it. We'll start now with some facts about the legendary warp drive. Warp Drive Through Space Warp drive involves the idea that a spaceship does not move through space through active mechanical propulsion, but rather bends space by distorting the fabric of space-time and then takes a shortcut, as it were, through a fold in space. The spaceship moves through this fold and can thus cover extremely long distances in a relatively short time. For science fiction fans, warp drive has long been a kind of reality. Fans of the story surrounding the Starship Enterprise usually think that it's only a matter of time before the ideas that are still considered science fiction today will become everyday reality. If you had shown a cell phone or a car to a person from the Middle Ages, the vast majority of scholars at the time would probably have also said, impossible. Impossible, said the world of conservative natural scientists in the late 20th century. Even at the beginning of the 21st century, the idea of warp drive was still considered impossible in scientific circles. For science, warp drive officially remained a hypothetical propulsion mechanism that enables faster-than-light travel by purposefully bending space-time. Some niche scientists and science fiction buffs nevertheless pursued the idea, and now possibly with great success. As a rule, researchers argued that this propulsion concept was incompatible with Einstein's general theory of relativity. But the fact is that Einstein's theories have not been fully proven to this day, and we humans are far from knowing everything. In search of the speed of faster than light travel. One thing is certain, if we want to travel through the cosmos at some point, we will have to invent a propulsion system that makes possible exactly what the warp drive is theoretically capable of. Current propulsion technologies and even the power of rockets are far from sufficient on a cosmic scale to travel even from one star to another. At the current state of science, a spacecraft would need 75,000 years to travel from Earth to the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri. Now, we cannot deny that there have been convincing sightings of spaceships and UFOs around the world for decades. Even NASA no longer categorically denies the fact of these sightings. Rather, it classifies the inexplicable sightings of strangely moving objects as not explainable phenomena. Nobody can exclude at present that they are not nevertheless extraterrestrials, which do not contact us Earthlings officially, but rather observe us. These flying objects appear particularly frequently around the ISS space station. If we have visitors from alien worlds, they must have exactly the propulsion technologies we are racking our brains about today. Dr. Harold Sonny White, a pioneer in space technology, and former NASA scientist, may now have found an explanation for faster-than-light travel. The phenomenon is known in astrophysics as a warp bubble. The term warp bubble was first coined in 1994 by a Mexican physicist named Miguel Alcuberi. From a strictly physical point of view, warp bubbles are a rather complicated matter. Therefore, in this video, we will limit ourselves to a highly simplified view that is easy for everyone to understand. A warp bubble could be described casually like this, a region in which space-time exists 
detached from the usual space-time structure, and is able to move faster than light. Theoretically, such a bubble moves in space via contraction and expansion. One could also say it pumps itself through space and time, while in its inside, a completely different space-time structure rules than in the outside. If such a bubble really moves forward, with super speed of light, however, it would violate all laws of physics valid so far. The most important law that speaks against the existence of the warp drive or a warp bubble to date is time dilation. Time is also a relative force according to Einstein's laws. Its behavior changes due to the observer's point of view as well as the speed with which physical bodies move through space. Assuming we succeed in building a spaceship that is actually capable of traveling at the speed of light, time dilation would cause space outside the spaceship to accelerate as well. In practical terms, this means that a space traveler in his ultra-fast spaceship might have taken only a few hours to travel to his favorite planet, but on Earth, years would have passed in the meantime. Warp bubbles, however, could overcome this, since the space inside the bubble and outside would remain unaffected by the special properties of the drive. For a long time, the existence or creation of such warp bubbles was considered impossible and pure science fiction until the aforementioned Mexican researcher, Alcuberi, presented a theoretical drive that retained the rules of general relativity while being able to travel faster than light. The Alcuberi Drive The Alcuberi Drive proved, theoretically anyway, that it was possible to distort space-time so that a spaceship moving through the curvature could get from one place to another faster than it would take light to travel in normal orbits. Contraction and expansion around the bubble would dramatically reduce the distances between planets. The idea caused great excitement among scientists. Some elated, while others immediately tore the idea apart. Alcuberi's drive used as its energy source a mechanical force that in reality would have to be immeasurably large to cause the distortion of space. Exactly here, the critics started in again and said, can't be done. But as we know today, it was rarely the mainstream researchers and doubters who made major breakthroughs. Today, we owe the light bulb and electric current to a man who had been considered stupid by his teachers and declared crazy by contemporaries. Billions of automobiles can also be traced back to two German inventors who had a vision and did not let the doubts of their fellow men wear them down. Last but not least, the pioneer of private space travel and Tesla CEO Elon Musk was also ridiculed and ostracized by many for a long time. Even if it seems crazy, it's almost part of the fact that human researchers often block progress rather than promote it. Nevertheless, some pioneers and thinkers were not dissuaded by this and continued to work on the idea of warp drive. The mathematical background of Alcuberi's invention was solid, contrary to criticism, and it looks like an American has now also found the solution to the energy problem. The Discovery of the First Warp Bubble In 2012, former NASA scientist Dr. Sonny White came up with a new calculation that used much less energy than Alcubarri's idea. The equations used negative energy, also known as exotic energy among experts, for propulsion. Negative or exotic energy comes practically from nothingness or the vacuum of empty space. For the theory of propulsion with negative energy, there would have to be a space where less than nothing exists. So far, these ideas still describe frontier areas of physics. What exactly goes on in the mysterious nothing or in the dark matter, researchers do not yet know. Thus, in 2012, hardly anyone was interested in the new theses on the possibility of a warp drive. For a long time, it was therefore quiet until a certain coincidence. Dr. White and his team worked on how the Casimir effect could be used in technical devices. The Casimir effect practically describes the forces that prevail in nothingness. In 1948, Dutch physicist Hendrik Casimir had already predicted that weak electrical forces must prevail in nothingness. This was later confirmed by a simple experiment. If two conductive metal plates measuring 0.5 square centimeters are brought together to a distance of 0.05 millimeters in an artificially created vacuum, an attraction is created between them. This force is only about equal to that of 10 dust grains, but it's sufficient to prove that there are electric forces in nothingness 
and thus also forces which are below zero, or in other words, less than nothing. Thus the existence of the negative or exotic force, which must be less than nothing, was proven. It was precisely this force that was the big question mark in the new warp drive calculations of 2012. So in 2021, Dr. White and his team had created a mini warp bubble in the lab for the first time. If the phenomenon exists on a small scale, it is very likely that it also exists on a larger scale. Albert Einstein already suspected that the vacuum or nothingness of space is permeated by a force so minimal that it can hardly be measured. Einstein suspected further that this force contained an enormous energy potential which we humans simply do not understand yet. At Einstein's and Casimir's times, however, it was technically hardly possible to create such a pure vacuum in the laboratory that it would be equal to nothingness. These technical possibilities were perfected only in the 21st century. Even today, there are still some small limitations in the transfer of the Casimir effect from the laboratory into the vastness of the universe. The artificially created vacuum in the laboratory is limited from all sides. Otherwise, the air and all molecules could not be sucked out of the experimental room. The universe is not limited to our present knowledge. However, the possible infinity of space does not have to stand in the way of the construction of a warp drive. On the contrary, this aspect, which up to now has been incalculable, could even be conducive to this type of warp drive. The first nano-warp spaceship. Dr. White and his team are currently working on a design concept for a mini-warp spacecraft. This first prototype will not yet allow travel to distant stars or galaxies. Rather, the spaceship, which is only one micrometer in size, will initially embark on its first voyages in a cylinder measuring four micrometers in diameter. If these tests are successful, however, it will only be a matter of time before the Alcubierre drive is also tested on a larger scale. So we can be curious when science will announce that space-time distortion and travel to distant worlds will be possible. Tell us how you feel about this discovery and the likelihood of real spaceships a la Enterprise. Do you think this will be possible in the foreseeable future? And how do you think problems like oxygen generation and gravity could be solved while traveling through the cosmos? We welcome your personal opinions, ideas, and theories here in the comments.